case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1983, the Supreme Court of Texas heard a case between a home builder and a developer, Trenholm v. Ratcliffe, which centered on the principle that a deceived person may be entitled to compensation if they relied on false statements made by another party to their detriment. Home builder George Trenholm sued developer Raymond Ratcliffe under the Deceptive Trade Practices Act and the Fraud in Real Estate Transaction Provisions of the Business and Commerce Code when he relied on Ratcliffe's statement that a nearby mobile home park would be converted into a shopping center. As a result, Trenholm built 18 houses, leading to a net loss. Although the trial court originally ruled in favor of Ratcliffe, the Supreme Court of Texas held that the judgment should have been rendered in favor of Trenholm, unless there was no evidence to support the jury's findings. Trenholm specifically asked Ratcliffe about the mobile home park during a draw meeting, to which Ratcliffe responded falsely. The Supreme Court of Texas ultimately overturned the lower court's decision, awarding Trenholm $190,500 in actual damages and $250,000 in exemplary damages. The evidence supported the home builder's theory, indicating the trial court wrongly sided with the developer. Ratcliffe was found to have made false representations with conscious disregard for Trenholm's rights, leading to Trenholm's significant financial losses. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.